Yo, what is going on you guys? Angry Cole here, back out with another YouTube video for Dragon Ball Z Adventure 2. And basically, I'm recording at the point now where I've uploaded my time skip video, which is like an old video of me playing some rank matches using time skip moves. No theme to it, no commentary, just put some music over it, you know. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna try to start uploading at like 9 o'clock in the morning. Um, I don't want to say every day, but I'm gonna try to. Um, so far it's been working out pretty good. Um, my sleep schedule kind of sucks, but um, we're getting back together slowly. And yeah, today we got another new combo going on. Um, basically, if you have the new DLC, in one of the parallel quests you can get um, Gogeta's new like evasive type move. It's called Assault Vanish, which is pretty nice. There's QQ Bang, and I like this outfit, and I feel like wearing Koku's ba bandana today because we didn't get Bardock's bandana. We got Blockbuster glasses. Um, and for the Super Soul, you can use Before Christian Comes Ruin because it's kind of a quick combo. Um, but just for my peace of mind, I'm going to bring now it's my turn. Um, for the super techs, there's a lot of different moves that you can use with Assault Vanish. That's just the main, like, I don't know, key to this combo, Assault Vanish. Um, I haven't found everything, but what I really do like right now is Murder Grenade, Warwind Blade, and then Punisher Shield. And then after Punisher Shield, you can go into Giant Storm, or if you use Assault Vanish again and meet them at the ground, you can use Heat Dome Attack. Or you could just forget about using Punisher Shield and just go straight into Heat Dome Attack, which I think is pretty cool. Because if you didn't know, Heat Dome Attack, whenever you use it, if someone's near you, whenever you do use it, um, they get hit by the little spear that comes around you and it knocks them to the air So basically whenever they're flying towards you after using whirlwind blade You could use he dome attack and catch them with it, which is pretty cool um, Future Super Saiyan because why not it's been a while since I've used it um, And we're gonna be using vanish regard because I don't know it's just always been my go-to evasive So yeah, now to go in training and show you guys what this combo looks like Alright you guys now that we are in training here's the training settings we have stamina on normal key on normal and health recovery on normal Put our CPU status on Z Vanish, so that way he uses his stamina, and we'll leave the um, damage values. No, no, never mind. Oh. Oh, still having the wrong one. Sorry, Bluer. All right, now we have the combo damage up. So yeah, I'm choosing Mira Final Form as my training partner today because, am I the only one thinks that these guys should be playable and ranked? Now hold on, before you go and say nah, you know that'll be OP and broken. Um, I could see that with like Merz and Masu. But Demigra and Mirror, I think they'd be fine and ranked. You could only use this like OP Crystal Raid move once, which isn't that bad. You know, you got moves like Super God Fist and Fake Death, which you can spam like like forever, you know? So I don't think him being in ranked wouldn't be that big of a deal. It doesn't seem too broken to me. His stamina's not too crazy. It has a lot of key, but you know, key's not gonna hurt anybody. I don't know. I don't wanna get into a big old debate, but Demigra and Mirror should be playable in ranked. That's just my opinion. So, break your opponent's stamina, Murgonade, then Whirlwind Blade, wait a second, Soul Vanish, Punisher Shield, catch him, kick them to the ground, and then Gigantic Storm, or not Gigantic Storm, but Giant Storm. Now, you heard him get up, which I think um, it'll still catch them, because I was doing some rank matches with this combo, and it was working pretty well. I think your only big issue about this combo not landing is just uh, Limit Burst, you know, they Limit Burst. They'll get super armor and it'll just kind of ruin your whole combo. And here's the combo with Heat Dome Attack. So yeah, just go for that stamina break. Merc Grenade, Wolven Blade. Wait a second. And then, uh, wrong button. But, you guys know what I mean. Just Merc Grenade, Wolven Blade, Assault Vanish, and Heat Dome Attack. Now I gotta show it. And it's a pretty fast combo. Um, it doesn't ask for too much key. It does add for stamina, but yeah, see there it is with Heat Dome Attack. And as I was telling you guys in the last like little segment, see how Heat Dome Attack um, connects because um, how it has, whenever that spear appears, it'll knock him to the air. Um, I wasn't close enough for it to land right there, but you guys know what I mean. Um, and also, here's a variation if you want to use Punisher Shield for a little bit more damage. See, really, really clean combo. Um, I think I have enough key for that because the Soul Vanish, I think it just takes stamina, not key. Oh, it takes stamina and key. So that'd be one, two, three. I think I have to be on book in order to pull that off. But it's still really clean. 15,355 damage. Not even transformed. Not using Before Creation Comes Ruin. And now that I think about how fast this combo is, you probably could use Before Creation Ruins and just get stupid damage. And there's also strike super moves you could use, like, I don't know. You could probably use, like, Assault Vanish. And then time skip Molotov, you know, um, knock them away. And then with Whirlwind Blade, and then as they're flying towards you, catch them with time skip Molotov. We'll see. There's a whole bunch of combo variations you can use with Assault Vanish. It's an amazing move. 
But yeah, now to hop. Alright, you guys, we have found our first opponent. It's going to be a female mod team today. Okay, he's not using his um, Broly's Diesel, which is what I was worried about. He is using Kyle Ken, though. Okay, okay. I think he's in Kyle Ken times 20. Yeah, he is, because his stamina is ran pretty quick. Kyle Ken on a female mod is a pretty good idea because of the fact that their stamina recovers so quickly. I thought Broly was the only one that got super on him. And look how fast the stamina came back. Jesus. And no- oh god. Notice that he doesn't have on like, uh, I like it better when you're mad or Broly's new ultimate. Oh, that's not gonna work. He's in the back hit. If I can catch this guy with a stem rake, and if he doesn't limit burst, I can destroy him, but he's being pretty conservative with him. Plus he's using Kyle Ken times 20. Probably should have just went for like an ultimate. Don't know why I tried to go for the grab right there. That's gonna be a GG. Yeah, that was a pretty good match. At least he didn't limit burst. Um, but that cow can on a female margin. I can't believe his stamina came back that quick. I don't think leave the rest to me gives you stamina regeneration speed. Like you know, like how I like it better rematch or Broly's new Super Soul. Uh, like I think it's. Growl, like it's like a, a roar or whatever. It, they both give you a shorter stamina regen cooldown time. So I thought he was going to be using that with Kyle Ken, but instead he was just using that Z Soul that starts off with max key. And I don't know what his build was, but it was a pretty good build. The Kyle Ken's times 20, and notice how whenever his stamina broke, he would go for Gigantic Rage, so that way he wouldn't flinch from his stamina being depleted. And yeah, so yeah, we found this guy. I'm gonna go ahead and skip so that way, yeah. Alright, so this is recording is going to start in the middle of this match, but you guys haven't missed anything. He's just been chasing me on Nimbus. Um, and yeah, basically the recording got a little janky, so I wasn't able to get the first like couple seconds. I just basically ran with, from him while he was on Nimbus. Which is pretty interesting. I haven't seen someone use Nimbus in a while. Oh, that was a nice back hit. Alright, I was just about to say his connection, even though it said one bar, wasn't that bad. Using, uh, I forgot the name of it. He's also using backflip. Alright, I'm hitting you. Really limit burst. Ah, there it is. Super armor too, so that's really nice. Look at this guy. It's also using uh, Trunks' ultimate burning strike. Oh, it whiffs. Catch him with the grab because... Hey, I aura dashed you. There we go. Punisher Shield's a little bit cheesy because of that. Um, basically, if you run into the shield, it does like one damage, and he was a one-shot, so I just threw the shield out, 
and whenever he ran at me and started attacking me, the shield tapped him and he died. Um, it's unfortunate that we didn't land the combo. Um, I don't know what went wrong there. I think it may have been a lag though, but GG, even though he did pop limit burst. Alright, we're going against the same guy we fought against last match. Um, Loki, I probably would have booted him because of his connection, but they took, they got rid of the kick button. Oh, and now he's just, he's a male Saiyan. No, male Earthling. No, male Saiyan? Yeah, it's a male Saiyan. No, male Earth. Oh my god, I can't get it. It's a male Earthling. Fuck. Now he has no stamina. Damn, I wanted to get the early stamina breaks so that way he uses the bit, uh, universe. There it is, yes. Now we don't gotta worry about that. I mean, I could attack him. It's not using super armor. If, uh... If Netco wants me to. Oh, look at this guy. I'm gonna try this Justice combo. Season pound skip, flash skip, whatever. That's doing some damage. Guys, we're going against the guy we fought for the last two matches. Um, last time he was his male Earthling using time skin moves, now he's his male Saiyan. The reason why I lost like all commentary that last match is because of the fact that he started getting me with the time skin moves, so I had to kind of focus up. Gotta break his stamina. Ah, oh, shit, I fucked up. That didn't work. Notice how he changed directions when he was back hitting? Damn, I wanted the purple like that. I have no idea what he's using this time. There we go, limit burst. There we go. Whatever, I'm gonna just get my stamina back. What's up with this guy grabbing me? Notice how I back hit him.
shit. <sighs> this guy's connection is irritating. And you could tell he wanted to cheese me. He just played so passive and just kept on using uh, Samasu's move. I forget the name of it. But whatever. And he kept grabbing me. Alright you guys, we're back with another match. Um, I missed the kick button, because I would have kicked that fucking dude, Sour War, the fucking third and fourth time I fucking matched up against him. Because, <sighs> I'm a little tilted, because of the way that guy fucking played. And then, the fourth time he played, he played as a freaking, I, I don't know, I'm gonna chill out. But yeah, he played as a female Earthling, or female Saiyan, whatever it is, and basically he just spammed endless shoot the whole time. People can't play fair this game for their life. Like, I know it's ranked, you know, you do what you gotta do to win, but come on. I should have removed freaking, uh, Limit Burst. Or else I would have had, like, almost every game I had played against that dude in the bag. This guy's like a Broly moveset type thing. Oh, nice perfect block. Alright guys, we have found our next opponent. We're going against a tiny Frieza with a Yajirobe wig. I think that's Yajirobe. That's a ton of stamina. Jesus. Going golden, that's not good. Usually when Frieza turn golden right off the bat. Nice back hit. Try to take the back hit, he didn't have damage. Not be it. Net code. Thank god that uh, revenge death ball didn't land. Ranked in a nutshell. I'm gonna take back what I said about that freezer race. Um, if I have anything in there, where I said anything, um, you know what he did was, you know, wasn't really his fault. And you know, I probably would have done the same thing with the, the key blast. Because if you think about it, I had no stamina. He got the Deboria head, the Deboria, the Doria head off. I can't even say it. There's a Doria head foot. Sorry, I just today's a bad day for me. Um. But yeah, he got the Dodoria headbutt off and broke my stamina when I had no stamina. So, you know, I don't think he was trying to cheese me. And then the revenge, the revenge death ball should have landed. I should have died right there. 
but you know Xenoverse just went right through me so he just did the most optimal way to beat me which was just used to charge key blast over and over again i don't want to say that's cheese but you know i would have been dead anyway if the revenge death ball hadn't worked which it should have i'm trying to dash around him but it's whatever like i had a couple good matches today I, the dude with the broly moveset you know gg that guy you know he got me fair and square even though the grabs were a little bit annoying but i just had to learn how to dodge him i fucked that up Let me focus up here, because I might be able to win the combo. I have no stamina. He didn't after image like I thought he was going to do. Tried to do the knockaway, not uh, key blast him. I didn't have enough stamina to go for a Soul Vanish. Once I had landed the Whirlwind Blade and I noticed that I only had zero stamina, I knew I wasn't going to be able to use the Soul Vanish. So I just charged him, hit him with the light combo, and then knocked him away and did Heat Dome Attack. That's not the combo, but you know, we still got the dub, so GG, even though he did pop his Limit Burst. Alright, we're going to get the same guy we fought against last time using Champa. It seems like Xenoverse, whenever it matches you up against one person, it keeps on putting you against that player. Hence why I fought that Sour Roar guy four times. I may not put all the matches in the video because that guy... I don't know, I don't... I don't even want to get started out with Soup. I don't even want to get back thinking about that guy. Cheesing me, but um... Yeah, I gotta commend this guy. He's using pretty underrated roster characters. Whis and Champa aren't really that good. Well, Champa's pretty decent. I'm getting an Oasis uh, Limb Burst. There we go. That's whatever. The reason why I don't even try to go for the combo after I hit them. Oh god. Jesus, jump around him. Like that. Alright, drop this combo. We got a clash. I got key. I just need to get his stamina down and land this combo. He may drop combo, so I'm not gonna waste stamina after him. Ross, Whis has some stamina. Oh, it's a partner, Whis. Stamina came right back when I got the stamina break. Oh my god. Ah, oh, damn. I tried to predict the back hit before he after imaged. I missed the back hit, but I did hit him, but net code. Um, he didn't flinch, so he basically got the snap vendors off and hit me. GG, that was a pretty good game. I just wish he wouldn't pop Limit Burst. Alright, you guys, we have found our next opponent. Going against Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. Not Vegito, Jesus. Vegeta. Having a bad day today. This guy's been so conservative with his stamina. Might be able to land this combo.
Hopefully Pop is Lemon Burst. I probably could have went for the combo right there. He didn't pop the numbers. Had he not key blast me, he would have caught me another combo. I don't think he can send me you off of that. Yeah. Beautiful Galagon. Oh, why did I stop attacking? That guy was a beast. I wish there were more players like this dude in this game. I'm not even happy because I won. I'm happy because... He played out of his mind, like by that I mean he played really good, he didn't pop his limit burst. I want to have more matches like this in Xenoverse, rather than just somebody spamming an OP key bus move while they're in Super Saiyan Blue, or, I don't know, that guy was a beast, he played out of his mind, so big shout out to Rad Unbeatable, you're a beast, and plus, especially since he was Vegeta, who's an underrated roster character in the first place, like, I don't know, you guys know what I mean, like, he didn't pop his limit burst when his stamina was low, um, he didn't pop his limit burst when our stamina broke him. He didn't pop his limit verse, you know, that's basically, I don't know. And he played, he was a beast, man. He was really good with Vegeta. He was using his charge key blast effectively. Galagun was really, really nice. And he was very unpredictable. He didn't at their match a whole lot. That guy was a beast. Hopefully I run into him again. All right, we found our next opponent. We're going to get Super Saiyan, God Super Saiyan, Gogeta. I think uh, Gogeta's like regular like dash animation is so clean. Oh, I probably just gonna burst. Gotta dodge this because that move does a lot of damage. Watch the shield. This guy's pretty good with the infinite. That was really clean. You know, the side of the uh, Punisher shield is pretty annoying. Yeah, it's see like that right there. How many times are you gonna use Punisher shield? Jesus. Um, and there goes... I don't, I don't even know. Oh, there goes another game. GG. Alright you guys, we're going against a male earthling on Wasteland. Broccolin Broccolin? I, I can't even pronounce that. It looks like Yamcha, but is he really? No, he's a male earthling. He looks like Yamcha. Let's 
go ahead and... There it is, yep. Hey, luckily he popped it before I stand broke him. Very intelligent. And there it is. Well, there's the heat dome attack variation. Um, luckily, I was able to land it because before I stamina broke him, well, when I went for the first stamina break, he popped his limit burst before it hit him. So therefore, he didn't get the free stamina reset, you know, after I stamina broke him. So yeah, that was a pretty easy game. GG. All right, you guys, we have found our next opponent. We're going Ar Archipelago, Jesus. And uh, we're going against a male Saiyan. He has Aura Slide on. Not really worried about Aura Slide anymore. They nerfed it. Nobody really uses it. And by that, I mean I'm pretty surprised this guy is using it. Okay, I'm not gonna back it no more because he wants me to back it. See right there, he went for the perfect block. Went for it again. Dang, unfortunately he was kicking now, I would have caught him in a combo. Ah, there it is. Watch this. Try to regain some stamina underwater. He didn't see me back in because I was underneath the water. Okay, now I need to get out of this water because the camera angle sucks. That is Vegeta's move, Wild Rush. That's cool that that works. Nothing. You ain't got no limit burst. All right, so yeah, GG. Um, that shows the kind of bonus of a soul vanish. So I went for the. Okay, so I broke his stamina. He popped his limit burst, of course, because that's just what everybody does now. The murder grenade was still there, so it knocked him away. I was pretty far away, so what I did was I waited for him to hit the ground, use the soul vanish, he dumb attack. I got an ultimate off. He took a lot of damage. Alright you guys, we have found our next opponent, we're going against Fun Duchess, who is a male Saiyan on Archipelago. He's sitting back and charging keys, so I'm going to fly towards him. Stamina bar is pretty short, but I have super, that's super, uh, now it's my turn. Starting off with Key Blast. He has like that edgy male Saiyan god look. I don't know why I back hit it. Uh, yeah, this guy, uh, you can tell his playstyle is pretty unique. Here we go, Super God Shock Flash. Yeah, this guy. I'm gonna get some stamina. I'm gonna land this combo on this dude. And there we go, it works. I knew it worked, it's just... Oh man, that was... A pretty interesting game. You guys know what I mean. Um, yeah, GG to Jack. Alright you guys, we have found our next opponent. There's something unsatisfying landing a combo on somebody who plays like the way that last guy played last game. So we're gonna try to see if we can land it on this guy. Oh, 
Oh, we're doing back hit. Ah, not back hit. After image. Okay, he wants me to after image. Helicopter legs. Don't you hate when you dash to the side and you still get hit by the back hit? Dang, I can't use the soul vanish. That's unfortunate. I'm gonna try to regain some stamina. Stop wasting it. I'm getting hit by every. I'm getting caught by every back hit this guy throws out. Now he wants to grab me for some reason. The only time I see, like, the use of. Oh god. Yeah, I saw that coming. Alright, so there it goes. It does work pretty well. That guy's a little bit more competent than the last guy I fought. And there it is. Those both variations of this combo. I did the Mary Grenade, War Woman Blade, Assault Vanish, Puncher Shield, Assault Vanish, Heat Dome Attack. I've done the Murder Grenade, War Woman Blade, Assault Vanish, Puncher Shield, and then Giant Storm. So there are both variations of this combo. Well, alright you guys, that's gonna be it for today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy. I wanna apologize for getting a little tilted in the middle of this. Um, let's just say it was a pretty rough day in Xenoverse with, you know, you have people who cheese and people who don't cheese and, you know, that's, I'm, I don't know, it's like the ups and downs in ranked, you know. Um, as I was playing players who had, you know, a bit more skill and weren't, you know, cheesing, um, I was actually having a lot more fun in ranked. Even though I, if I lost or anything, I still was having fun. But whenever I go against somebody who just flat out cheeses, limit burst, and spams the same he blast move, still tilted about that, um, then I have a pretty rough time in ranked. But we landed the combo, which is a success. Um, and yeah, so this combo does work really well. There's a whole bunch of different variations out there. I just, you have to find them out, you know. Soul Vanish opens up a whole new door to combos since like now you're able to after image or teleport straight to somebody really quickly. Like, uh, it's funny how there's a move like instant transmission this game that takes forever to teleport to somebody. Even, but now we have a Soul Vanish, which at the cost of one Themis bar and one key bar, you're able to just instantly get close to your opponent, which I think is pretty cool. And it opens up the doors for a whole lot of new combos, and I've said that already. So yeah, hope you guys all for a wonderful day. See you guys on the next Dragon Ball Z 2 video upload. Peace.